Hi there, need help deleting empty rows in Excel? Let me help. Hey, I'm Sharon from Excel at Work, where we offer straightforward, non-technical assistance to help you save time, work smarter, and improve your Microsoft Office skills. So, let's look at how you can quickly remove blank rows in Excel. I'm going to cover several options, as each one is super useful, depending on the number of rows you need to delete. All are quick and easy to use, especially if you start to use the keyboard shortcuts. If you're using my 100 plus steps to proficient workbook to improve your Excel skills, I've popped the topic number this video relates to in the description box below. If you haven't yet claimed a copy of this workbook, I've also added a link to where you can grab yourself a copy. Right, let's look at how to remove blank rows. Right, let's look at some super quick ways to get rid of empty or blank rows in your worksheet. So, obviously the easiest way to get rid of one single row is just to right click over the row number and click delete. Easy peasy. And if you've got adjacent, you can just obviously drag over the adjacent rows and do the same thing. Now if you've got non-adjacent empty rows, you can select them and so start with the one and then hold down your control key and select the multiple, then do a delete. Now, I'm just going to undo that because I want to show you, if you use the shortcut control and your minus key, your subtract key, you will also delete. So that's the shortcut. Now, I want to show you this as well. I'm just going to undo that. If I was wanting just to select this row and then delete, the shortcut for that would be shift and my spacebar to select the row, control and minus to delete the row. So we can easily use these shortcuts to get rid of information. Now, that's great when you've got a little table of information using your control and you right click delete it's just that when you've got a really big table of data and you've got lots of empty blank rows in them this isn't probably the easiest way to do it so let me shoot up to the top again I'm just using control home to get to the top of the worksheet I'm just going to select all of this because I'm just going to um, scroll right down to the bottom down here and holding down my shift key to select right to the bottom and I'm just using my um, control and my full stop or period and I'm going to the top of the table now I'm just going to go up to the data tab and I'm going to turn on filter now if you are familiar with filter I want to show you this you can go to any of your columns and you can scroll or first of all remove the select all scroll right to the bottom select blanks and you will now see that you are looking at all of the blank rows that were within the area that you selected now all you need to do is select over that area right click and delete of course you can use your shortcut keys if you want to as well now when you clear you will see that you will have I'm just going to use control on my down arrow there are no empty rows so you can see that it's all gone which is lovely but I'm just going to undo that because I want to show you another way and we're back where we started. I'm going to re remove filter. Now, if you're not familiar with filtering and you've never filtered before, here's another way. So I'm just going to select over the data again. Now, the reason that I'm, I'm doing a point to point click here is that if I just use my control A to select, you'll see that it stops at the very first empty row. And that's probably why you're wanting to get rid of your blank rows at the moment. So I'm just going to the top corner of the table and I'm going all the way to the bottom of the table and I'm just going to hold down my shift key and select to the bottom. Again, I'm just using control and my period or um, full stop button to get to the top. So now what I want to do is I just want to show you something. On the home tab, I'm going to come over here to find and select and I'm going to go to special. Now this is great because it allows you to select only blank rows or blank cells. When I click onto OK now, if I just scroll down, you're going to see that only the area that is blank has been selected. So I'm just going to go, I won't go all the way down to 800 rows, but I think you get the picture. So now what I can do is I can do my control minus and look at that. It's actually saying, what do you want to do? I want to delete the entire row of anything that's selected. So you'll see that 13 and 17 are going to disappear now. Click onto OK and look at that. So if I come down again, I'm just going to use my control down arrow and you'll see that it's removed those empty rows. So at this stage, if we have a look, the reason that I'm using my control down arrow is it's actually going to take me to the first instance of an empty row. And you can see, of course, there are no empty rows in that table now.
So I hope that has helped you to understand how you can quickly remove your blank rows. And of course, if you've got a smaller table, you can just use your control key and your right click if you need to, or your shortcut keys. For one of those larger tables that's got a lot of rows in it, then I would suggest that possibly using either your filter blanks and deleting the blank rows, or using your go to special, selecting the blanks and then using your delete row from there. I hope it was helpful. So I really hope this instruction has been helpful and you are now able to quickly remove blank rows. If this has been helpful, please let me know in the comments below. And if you use Excel and want to stay connected, please consider liking, following, subscribing because I'm sharing new videos regularly. And if you know someone who would benefit from this help, please be sure to share this video with them. Hey, thanks for watching and have a fabulous day.